What's good, y'all? Shout to Smooth Game. We are back and better never yet. Another Madden video, man. And yes, like I told y'all, these are going up every Friday. I promise y'all that. So guess what? This is Friday number one. And next Friday, there's gonna be another one. And next Friday, there's gonna be another one. We're gonna get more consistent and hope that brings more traffic this way. But for right now, you can see it on the screen, bro. Look at Justin Fields back there on the TV. Looking nice after the Super Bowl dub we just took. And yes, that Super Bowl trophy is in the background. If you missed the offseason, a lot of big major moves were, were kind of done. I just kind of go over some of them real quick. Some of the ones that you'll actually most notably see is the fact that, you know, we basically got rid of our whole backfield. We got three new running backs, two rookies right here, and went and picked up Darius Geis, as well as changed a couple numbers. Justin Fields will now be quarterback number one, as wearing number one. We went and picked up Tyrod Taylor, and that number one was to make room for the young runner where his college number of two. Uh, Monse Brown's in his college number of eight. And like I said, the team just looks slightly different as I run through that in the background. The offseason was lit. If y'all missed out, check it out next time. We're doing it live stream every single time. Uh, just because I have most fun doing that. Now, maybe next time we actually try Twitch. I know I keep saying that and just keep shying away from it. Maybe next time will be the time that we go ahead and hit Twitch up. But you see here, we're starting the season off with a pretty key injury. Brian Poole will be out for the first four weeks of the season which will open the way for Blazing Austin to go ahead and get some playing time out there, matched up one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Now, he had a great um, preseason. Like I told you, I played that on my own in my off time, uh, just off camera, and he had a great preseason. Lewis had a pretty good preseason. I mean, really all of our DBs kind of balled out. Uh, I think each one ended up with getting at least one interception, which is great. So yeah, Austin will be the new number two, and over to our slot corner. We'll have Bryce Hall just go ahead and fill into that role. I'm not going to put Jair in there on the on the slot. Unless their top dude is in the slot, I'm always have that turned on to where he's playing the best overall. Actually, I should take it back. We'll probably do that only if we're getting killed. Now comes the time to set the goal. Now, last year we went 8-8, eight eight, but we did win the Super Bowl. Do I think we're four wins? Heck yes. Do I think we're seven wins? Yes. Do I think we're making the playoffs? Yes. Do I think we're making it to the Super Bowl ready yet? No. Make the playoffs is our goal this year. <laughs> the medium chance of firing, a very aggressive goal. But like I said, we went eight and eight and took the division last year. I think we're a step better than that. And I don't think the other teams in the division got that much better to match us. So we'll commit to that. Uh, we're gonna go over here to the training. I think I do have this set up already how I want it. Yup, exactly how I want I want Demi Brown to go ahead and get some development. He's 23, he's a star. We gotta look to replace Jameson Crowder eventually. He's getting old. DeMarco Aldridge at middle linebacker. We want to see him develop, turn to another good linebacker for us. We can have two really good ones. And Malik Freeman will get the first part of the development. And about halfway through the season, we will switch and let Sanders get the other half. I think it's right, right? Sanders. And here we go with the upgrades after the first week of practice. We got Blazing Austin. Like I said, I've been trying to get, you know, a zone corner to kind of match with the main corner that we got on the other side. Since we do play a lot of zone, it'd be nice to see someone get good over there. But ooh, 58 tackling, and you want to you want to be on the field. Slots got to get better because I think that's one of the only ones that we're tackling is pretty much guaranteed. Like I wanted to hold off and say guaranteed before that popped up on the screen. But plus three man coverage that'll also help get that up to 82 overall. Now seeing a lot of green, we just got to fix that one red. And this dude say it's a wrap. Blew me out the water in preseason. I actually did better than Deami Brown, earned his way to that wide receiver four spot, which I thought was locked up by Deami. But uh, if you're going to play number four, we got to get some of these ratings better. 83 catching ain't going to uh, cut it. That route running ain't going to cut it. So uh, off of which one I'm going to do, because this is mostly about catching. This is mostly about route running. Maybe we'll get lucky and get both in this one. Overall doesn't go up and just get plus three medium route running. I guess that's straight. That was the only one he was struggling with. Try to get that out of the yellow. And now we got Ashton Davis, backup safety. Uh, just looking at his ratings right now, tackling is trash. So that, that tells me what we're about to go upgrade, hybrid. We'll try to get him into a position where he can play maybe sub linebacker, maybe put our safety as sub linebacker, let him get back to the safety role. Just other ways to try to find him on the field because he is a pretty good player. Everything set up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and hop into this first game. Week one of the season, Thursday night football. New York Jets, the Super Bowl champion. New York Jets, led by Coach Sean, too. Smoothie. Playing the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's get right.
right, y'all, welcome back. As you can see, Coach Smooth has his headset on, and we are ready to get this game underway. Now, a new goal for this season. Will they need to kind of open up the playbook? If y'all hear squeaking, it's my dogs playing with the squeaky toy. But we will try to make new plays happen this year, not run the same old plays, really open up this playbook and maybe even change up the playbook. But for right now, first and 10, the first offensive play of our defending season as we try to defend this crown. It's gonna be an outside run to Kenya Pollard. I like it. It was wide off, angle, fade, stop. Oh, oh my bad, y'all. Y'all caught me, uh, I was I was already talking to Justin, Justin Fields. Let's see what he do right here. Hopefully he runs the play the right way. You know, we've kind of struggled with the playbook a little bit. Oh, oh, Kenya Drake. Offensive line not holding up too good from what I saw on that play, but he was able to make it work on that one. Third and three after the great first down catch by Kenyon Drake coming out of the backfield. Like I said, Drake's a lot better than his overall shows. Probably should be like a 95, no cap. But y'all know what it is. Oh no! Heck no, we not we not punting. Go spread, double flex, deep curl. And you better hit Mims, and he better be wide open. Tell him I say he better be wide open, or he getting cut. Oh, my bad, y'all. Once again, talking to the uh, to the play callers uh, downstairs. Uh, oh, no. All right, so that's not a good start. That's that's not what we wanted. But we got defense, though, that's going to back us up. Ain't that right, defense? Yes, sir. Oh, 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 we almost got caught lacking. Oh, we almost got caught lacking. Oh, y'all got caught lacking. So we go first and go after the big play after they just let Tyreek Hill just scan wide open. I don't know why my deep purple didn't try to get over there, but first and goal, looks like a run. Filled up all the gaps. Good job, CJ Mosley. Now we did drop down to our 4-6. This way we can better, you know, protect against the run. Pinch everybody up. Yeah, get outside. Yep, stop that up. Stop that up. And we're going to kind of stay in this. This is going to be like a new run defense, a uh, new way to stop the run at least. Uh, third and goal here after we've stopped him two times. We're going to try to go to the well again. Stop him. Let's go. That's the new pickup right there. Uh, I think it's Nick uh, Kwiatkowski. All right, here we go. First and 10. Uh, pretty disappointing offense. First offensive drive. Defense played great, which gives me good hopes for the rest of the game. As long as we can do what we need to on offense. You see, we got Darius Geis in. I got some presets to where he's going to get in in power, uh, power situations. This was more of a speed one, but don't be, don't be slick now. Watch, Dice got some speed on him. Gonna run this toss outside. Hmm. Now a little bit more speed, he probably getting through there, but we'll take it. Now before this, I did have to remind myself. So I was playing with my Giants team from last year's rebuild that I did, like I said, off camera. And I ran the same exact playbook and kind of a similar scheme, but two completely different teams. So I gotta try not to run the same plays that I was doing over there, over here. Third, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, come on. Oh, back then, bro. He had, if he makes that block, because I saw him, he just stood there. If he makes that block, that is a first down at least. All right, here we go, third and 13. Uh, for whatever reason, everybody on that last play, at least everybody except for Beckett, stepped down to the right. So although it looked like he messed up there, there was really nothing he could do because the rest of the offensive line like screwed him over. So now we got to try to come back here. Ah, look, somebody get open. Somebody get open. <laughs> there we go. We got enough. We got enough yards on that play for me to feel safe to go for it. Here we go, fourth and one. You know I was gonna go for it. Aggressive coach Maddox back at it again. Oh yeah, get that over the top. Yeah, that's Denzel Mims. Let's go. That's the first. That's the first. See, it don't work every time. Like you saw the first drive, it kind of messed us up. But don't think I'm gonna get wrong twice. All right, here we go. Second and eleven. One thing I said I need to get better at doing was flipping the play at the play call screen so that we can run stuff like this to the open side of the field. And we're gonna go right back to this toss. Boom. Block. Block. Ah. 22. You hold your block just a little bit longer for your boy. Was Kendrick Sanders in on that one? Uh, I mean, what can I say? He's a rookie. He doesn't know any better, so I'm not going to be too mad at him. But that is why you go get a Janu Smith. I'm just saying, we threw that thing up. I got to get quiet a little bit to make sure he was going to catch it. But aggro catch came down with it, held it. Now it's first and goal from a third and 11. Come on now. Second and goal. Going to switch up the play, try to pass. Hmm. Right there, Mims, touchdown. Let's go, give me back my lead. All right, here we go 
after another great defensive stop. I told y'all defense gonna get right, offense gonna get right. Now we're gonna go up by two points. Got a nice little halfback dive playing here for Kenyon Drake right up the middle. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, hey, can't trade nothing else from Jones right up the middle. Trying to convert on yet another third down. The defense is playing pretty stout. Oh, 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 he missed. Oh, that's hindering. That's hindering. Oh, juke move. Oh, I don't know how the X Factor missed. I think he tried to go for a hit stick or a dive. We got lucky and Henderson got up the field. Easy first down. Here we go, second and 10 after the uh, play action play. Didn't really fool anybody uh, but us because we were fools trying to run it. But second and 10, seeing who's open here on this play. Oh, that's over to the wide side. That's Amon St. Brown getting busy. So somehow the one person on the field that, that probably should not move other than the QB ends up moving. You, you not even. I always say, like, you the closest to the ball, you shouldn't move. You own the ball. And you, how did you move? If anything, just snap the ball to me if you're going to jump early. But now we got first to 15 after that dumb play by him. Uh oh, yes, sir. Wide open. Mims. I mean, there's, I think that's his 50th catch, so get him some more XP. I was hoping he'd get up field a little bit quicker than that, but second and nine. It looks like they got everything kind of pretty locked up here. We're going to try it, though. It's going to be one on one against that middle linebacker. Can he get loose? Middle linebacker got blocked. Oh, I I don't know how he got blocked. I was focused on the run lane, but trying to set audibles and people keep moving. So now we got our first and goal at the 14 after yet another movement by our offensive line. Oh yeah, that's wide open. That's Crowder. And that's the first touchdown of his season. Let's get this offense ran up. Yet another good offensive drive <laughs> by Coach Smooth out there coaching these boys with his heart out. But now we're back on defense. We need another stop by a defense. Keep going up. Oh, this looks like a little draw play up the middle, but it ain't going nowhere. Y'all know the run game spread up a lot. Injury to El Niangi. Uh, looks like one of the offensive linemen. I'm not familiar with who that is, though. Here we go. First and 10 again after that good play by uh, good play by Hillier. Got to give respect where respect is due. I'm going to follow that. Oh, y'all left my home. Ooh, he lucky he slid. Because I was coming down with CJ Mosley. Something vicious. They keep doing these little dinking ducks. We ain't even going to get out to 4-3 today. Looks like they got uh, bunched up to the right. Stacked up. Another third down. Oh, they might have caught me sleeping. Oh. Oh, we got to move it backwards. Ah. Oh, oh, I thought that was the fumble. I thought that was the fumble thing. I'm saying, oh, who got it? Who got it? I want it. Good stuff. So we're going to drop into the cover two real quick. Just to kind of make sure that we got everything locked up. Up, up, up. Come on. Ah. Come on now, y'all. Come on, I need my yellows to start being yellowy. Here we go. Gonna drop back to a cover three look. See if we can kind of stop them. We know it's probably gonna be something short, something quick. Yeah, I'm there for that drag route. Go get him, go get him, go get him, go get him. Somebody move. We don't show punt returns, but here we go on this drive. New drive goal is to not throw any INTs for Justin Fields. Hopefully, he can do it. But we're gonna start off with a run here to Darius Geis. Nice little toss play. Mm. Oh, I was hoping he could truck through that. If he truck through that, we get so much more. I might have to put like Kenyon Drake there at the at that second half back spot or something. Somebody that blocks a little bit better because I mean it's there. He's just not getting that lead block that he needs to. Oh yeah, that's wide open. That's Jamison Crowder. Uh, dang, Amon St. Brown, I thought she would help your brother out, but it's all right. Keep moving the rock. Not like the read option out there. There's nobody even to read out there. So just going to go ahead and change it back up. Go right back to slants. Ah! Now somebody got to make this kick. Somebody got to make this tackle, though. Can you drink? You got to make this tackle. All right, y'all finally back after yelling at Justin Fields and the offense, I had to go yell at the defense for that BS. Um, but now we're back on back on offense. Hopefully to make things right, because uh, that was not it. I mean, we went from a two score lead to down three in seemingly no time. And keep in mind, all that too, 
while it seemed like we were doing pretty good moving the ball in offense. So, third and two, trying to get this lead back under control. Up, oh, ooh, almost a big play for Kenyon. Just could, didn't quite have the speed to get away from Wade there. Making sure you read, surveying, doing what you're supposed to do. That's wide open and you got blockers. Wide open and you got blockers, man. Let's go. Keep this rock moving up the field. Now, man, was a little bit tired after that. You know, I give him, I give him that. So, tapped his head. We went in and brought him out. This is the first time y'all about to see Sage Surratt on the field, man. He hasn't made it out of preseason. Most of the time, he gets practice squatted. But this year, he's out there. So, let's see what he can do because this play is going right to him. Bam. Oh, okay. All right, y'all, my bad, too. I was actually uh, dumb. I ain't make the sub. The receiver coach did. And he kept Mims out there because Sage was already there. He didn't know what I meant. So, Say did now and, and, and Mims out, but uh, we can throw it into it. Uh, 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 where it's messed up because we making big plays. Second to go after the run play went nowhere on the first one. Oh, yeah, that's wide open. Secure catch. That's a touchdown for Monse Brown. Let's go. But now we're back on defense, and let's see if they listen to what I was trying to tell them, because I was told them the same thing. Mm, there we go, Elliot. If y'all gonna hit stick, you better break it. My bad, y'all. I got a little too aggressive. Uh, you, you should hit him. Don't break him. But second and six after the short play there again. Gotta watch Patrick Mahomes, man. He could come out of this backfield. The flat routes are fine. Go ahead and tackle short. That's cool. And this should be the last play of the third quarter. I'm gonna follow that. Boom. Oh, wait, why couldn't nobody else go deep? No! All right, y'all, so I laid it into the defense again. Yes, I understand deep third means, you know, cut the field in half. But if there is only one person running deep and you were originally with them, why not follow? Instead of just standing there at the 30-yard line, just chilling. So we're going to get that fixed. Now we're back on offense, though. Like I, like I told them, just keep not doing nothing stupid. You good. The guys back in, because just in case they do something like this. Normally, I probably would run a toss with like a little bit better for sure, for sure blocking. But right now, we're just going to try to go up the middle. See what guys got as an actual power back. He got up in that thing for a little bit. Here we go. Oh, yeah, this man coverage all the way around. So, we're just going to go ahead and try to run this read option real quick. Oh, yeah. He's going to watch that. Oh, uh, if I didn't truck, he'd probably get in the first. So, I'm going to change this play up. It's like a cover three. I don't think they're actually going to blitz. If they do, they're only going to send one. Yeah, no blitz for real. Yeah, right up the middle, though. Slide. There we go. All right, we got Mims back in the game. It's two incompletions, so we can no longer see what covers they're in, but we are going to go for it. They're blitzing. Oh, yeah, pass led up. Mims got the first for me, and that's why you go put him back in. Sage so just kind of ran past the ball. He didn't really want nothing with it. Almost gave up a pick. See if we can catch him sleeping. First and goal. They're going to watch it. They're going to watch it. King and Drake in the end zone. First and 10, back on offense. We're going to go into the nickel defense. We know they got a pass. Five minutes left, and they need a touchdown. Ooh, man, coverage got beat right there, but we're right there for them. I don't know why they keep throwing quick stuff. Quick and short. That is really not how the Chiefs play in real life. We on Elliott, second and five. Where are they going short again? Mm. Oh, the ball's out. The ball is out. That's going to teach y'all to go short. Blazing Austin with the rock. Ah, juke. Ah, juke worked. Yes. Blazing Austin with the fumble recovery that might have just sealed this thing up. I don't know who knocked it out. Let's see you on the replay. So they went up short. It looks like. Oh, that was Nick again. I told y'all it was a smart decision to go sign the free agency. Every year, my free agents do something and they act right and they make big plays. And right there, he just clutched up. Last year in the Super Bowl, of safety we uh, went out and picked up, clutched up. This year, he saved a game one. No, not a booth review. It got overturned. I mean, it was it was nice, though. It was nice play. First and 10. Mm, I'm glad he threw that short because I actually wasn't paying attention to up right up the middle. So I don't know who was supposed to be over there, but nobody was. It's all good. We got first and goal now. We just got to try to hold him. Let's try to hold him. Second down, time running out. We can hold him to a field goal that would be great. And it's first time. That's the first stop. That probably would take us to the two-minute warning if they're smart. Hold him. Okay, go out wide. 
Can you go out with him? Stop that up the middle. Uh -uh. Come here. <clears throat> Come on. He, he ain't fumbling that? Come on now. Somebody got to make him fumble. Cover two. Cover two. I'm right here. Yes, sir. Oh, we almost had the pick. Oh, you got to get that. Then go up to two. We have to make a stop here. Man coverage across the board. Get him. Get him. We got him. And ball when it's hurt. Hey, I'm sorry, man. Shut up to you. Hope it ain't long, but let's go. A few moments later. Here we go. Back on second and two. After the second timeout, charge to him. Ah, throw back. Oh my gosh. Regular cover three. Come on now. 34 seconds left. Yes, we got him down. But you tackled him over the line. They still got time. Let's go. Come on. They use their final timeout. I'd be lying if I said my heart isn't racing right now. Oh, my gosh. All right. First and goal. No. Oh. y'all yeah like i said that was my fault dumb decision there to go to even attempt to do a pass play there and we just got three dumb interceptions that should have easily been a dub for us to start off start off the year but i mean you see some of the stats in the background just played too dumb on offense uh wasn't really smart with the ball if we don't have the three turnovers this is an easy dub our defense is on locks just like it was last year offense just doing dumb stuff just like we were last year so Overall, great game. I'm happy with what I saw. Can't wait to get some of this simulating. And I will catch you guys back at the main meet. All right, y'all. So after the heartbreaking loss, we didn't even get no upgrades that game. Um, to make up for it, we will do at least <clears throat> two simulated games here. The Patriots and Dolphins. I don't want to even touch uh, divisional games to make late in the season. Uh, looks like we got three of them right back to back, though. So we might have to get into one. We'll see how the season turns out. All right, here we go. We got some upgrades finally to do after training. Ooh, quite a lot. So we're going to start off with Deami Brown. Uh, come on, we can do it. Based off his ratings, what he needs to work on seems to be like his deep stuff. His routes are pretty eh in general. But we're going to work on his deep threat ability, see if we can get him on the field to go like deep down the field, uh, get him open in that kind of aspect, and see if we can find some room for him. Right now, he's wide receiver five. Uh, I don't even know when he's going to get on the field. Mikael Cunningham, I don't remember the last upgrade that I put into... Just to feel so you'll have to wait before I make you, like I said, do exactly what he did to you. But right now your accuracies are looking pretty low, especially for a backup. So we're gonna go ahead and get that field general up. 70 overall. Welcome to the yellow. Plus one deep, plus two short, which is great, especially short accuracy for a uh for the scheme that we run. So need that. And it's at 84 right now. Love to see that keep going up. Malik Freeman's first upgrade of his young career, finally. Got him doing the, the uh the focus player he's finally getting something he is my back up oh, okay so he's the elusive back that we just got so obviously we're going to keep his skills where they are we're not going to touch power back for him we drafted a power back for a reason um we'll have them do two completely separate different roles maybe if they were more closer together and he was more of like an all-around back i would i would venture on that avenue but right now just keep him doing what he's doing and then right here with Tyus bowser uh i need that pass coverage up my dude Way too many teams pass in this league. We run way too much coverage for you to be not good at it. So plus two zone, you set up to 62. I need that out the orange. We need that in the yellow at bare minimum. So with that all done, we're just gonna go ahead, get through this week. Hopefully we get it done. All right, here we go, y'all. 35 to 17, they scored twice in that fourth quarter, which is kind of a little hiccup, but overall dominant game. Uh, 263, three touchdowns and interception for Fields. His counterpart Wilson, 234, two touchdowns. Hmm, will that be how it goes in real life? I wonder. Drake, 64, 13 attempts. Guys got in for 14 attempts, 59, two touchdowns. That's that's what I want to see right there. I want to see a nice, healthy backfield, a two headed dragon, and let them boys work. Now, also, what you see here is Freeman got in for seven touches of his own. So we was really running the rock this game. Three for Sanders, Fields, two, one for Pollard. Everybody was really running the rock this game. Crowder went off 130. Brown another touchdown to the le red, red uh, ledger. 
and one for Smith and one for Mills. And Freeman in the backfield, one for 21. Okay. He said, I'm a receiving back too, coach. We give up any sacks today? None. That's what I love to see. Mosley, Austin, and Nick all leading the tackles. Two sacks coming from Fatuski, one for Zunga, and one for Myers. That's another thing. Zunga will now be playing. I don't even know if I'm saying today, right? Because we moved uh, Jordan Jenkins over the right end. In the offseason, that's what that's some of the things you miss if you ain't watched them offseason videos. But people get moved around. I got different things going on in my head. Gotta be there for them. We've got our negotiations. We're not even gonna touch these for a little bit, but you can kind of see some of the people that will be up. Ooh, a lot of green up there, a lot of yellow. Some people we probably ain't even worried about. How much money do we have? 61 million, and that's with offering him that contract. So don't go to somebody like Lutz who have a smaller one. But roughly about 80 million dollars in cap space, cap space right now to go ahead and spend and get some of these guys brought back longer term. Now we're gonna jump into, we will jump into the scouting though, so you guys can kind of see a lot of my needs are like, we need something for the future. So I need a backup left guard just in case he retires. I need a backup strong safety in case he retires. I need a middle linebacker of the future. I need a corner that can finally do his own. I need an outside linebacker that can do pass coverage. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do, go to the left guard. Give me all those. Anybody worth anything? Heck no. Nah. What about the right side? Oh, let me go down. Let me go. Okay. Right side got a little bit something to work with. So we'll continue on the right side next time. So, all right. So we've got two more upgrades. DeMarco Aldridge and Rashawn Slater. Like I said, Aldridge is hopefully our middle linebacker of the future. We'll see how he develops right now. I got to get that pass coverage up. Field general is nice, but you better be able to play some zone coverage plus two zone, which now gives him a 67 rating. That'll be green before too long. And then Rashawn Slater. Um, his pass pro is his highest thing, so hopefully that means his pass ratings are okay. Okay enough with me going with um, some of the run games, so we're going to go upgrade power because that's the one with the highest chance of getting some uh, run stuff. With two of them in the top three, plus one run by power, plus two pass block power, plus one on the lead block. Okay, 91 pass block power. That means those defensive ends, uh, it should be like left defensive end, they try to use power moves. Basically, all but should be locked down, which I feel very comfortable with on my right side. He did have a new injury, which seems to be Stefan Page. Foot fracture out eight weeks. Do I want to put him on IR just to make some room? Not really. That's how beastly our defensive tackles are right now. Like I told you, we have four of them that I honestly don't even know what to do with. I don't want to trade them because they're so good. And this is why I'm glad I didn't trade them. Somebody is down and hurt. I'm glad we got three really good ones. Right, here we go, 28-25, dropping 14 in the fourth quarter. A clutch win there at the end. Not too good on the defensive side. Just about the same amount of yards, over 300. 237, four touchdowns for Fields, but got sacked four times. Got to clean that up. 224 and three touchdowns for Tua. Drake, 16. Uh, 16, I don't know what number I saw. 13 and 68. Guys, 9 for 30. A little bit un more unbalanced, but not even running as much as we were in that first game, which is see what we had to win it there to the end. St. Brown, two touchdown day. Pollard, two touchdowns out the backfield. Crowder kind of quiet, and everybody was pretty quiet. But, oh, no, 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 we ain't skipping that blocking. Who who gave them sacks? Back then, two, Taylor, one, and I guess one was just kind of credit to the game. Uh, Jordan Jenkins here with two sacks. C.J. Mosley went ahead and got him one. No interceptions for anybody, though, but great pressure up front, especially for the newly moved Jordan Jenkins. He was more of a runner anyway, so might as well put him there and let somebody else take over there right outside my third spot that can actually pass coverage. All right, and we will go ahead and get some of this stuff cleared up before we go ahead and start next. Nah, 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 nah. nah. No, we're gonna wait on it. We got another new injury that we gotta check out. Gotta upgrade, training, scouting, all that, all that stuff. But when we come back next time, we will have the Chargers, Bills, and football team on tap. And wait, what are the Chargers right now? Chargers are two and one. Bills are actually three and zero, leading our division right now. So next episode, you can see us watching the Bills game, and depending on what happens on that game, and how week six goes, we might watch both Bills that, that might be the next two episodes, watching both Bills games. Uh, I'm not going to play them. We are just going to watch them. Uh, so that should be fun. You get to see commentator Maddox. The headset will be coming back. But for right now, this is where we are going to go ahead and wrap things up. Hope y'all enjoyed the episodes. Let me know what y'all thinking of them down below. And let's get this series run up, man. Share it with the people that you know like Madden. It's been your boy Sean Too Smooth, aka Coach Smooth. Leading me boy to a 2 and record, 2 and 1 record. Should have been 3 0. My bad. But go ahead and get up out of here. See y'all next time. It's been your boy Sean.
two, Smooth Legends, everybody on Cracker, everybody on Friday, King Leo, and head of Smooth Legends, headquarters of R.P. Kobe. Shout out to the Hall of Fame by Bid, and I'm going. Peace.